Thank you for this opportunity. It's, it's truly an honor to be here. I work in the United States at an oncology center, and we have been working within an interdisciplinary team for many years. Uh, as you can see from the slide, there are many aspects to a patient's care with cancer. Uh, certainly the plan of medical care is, is extremely important, and the role of a tumor board or the multidisciplinary team can really be helpful in terms of establishing what exactly that plan of care is going to be. Uh, uh, but there are also many aspects of care that need to be considered. And many of these aspects are where nursing can play a critical role. So many times it's the nurses who are spending the hour after hour with patients at the bedside that really know what's going on from a psychological aspect, from a social aspect, from what's going on with the families. Many times there's concerns where the family wants a lot of things done for the patient and the patient is saying, I'm not, I don't want all of that therapy. And so those are some of, that's an example of what uh, nursing can bring to the table. But there are all sorts of aspects of care and I think sometimes we tend to focus on just the actual plan of medical care, and we need to make sure that we're considering all of the different aspects of care. There's an evolution to this multidisciplinary team. And many years ago in the US, we really started with this consultative approach where one, usually the medical oncologist, was the one really coordinating that plan of care. And he or she pulled in different um, other professionals, usually uh, other physicians, as needed. Then we evolved to more of the multidisciplinary team where we had this unified approach where various members of the team would get together and discuss that patient's care. We've evolved in the US to more of this inter interdisciplinary team approach where various members of the team, so nurses, physicians, social workers, uh, nurse navigators, um, financial planners all sit together at the table. Once a week, we get together, and in a very brief time period, we allow one hour, we discuss all of the patients for that week who are gonna be admitted or cared for. And every member participates and contributes to that discussion in terms of what that plan of care will look like. We're trying to evolve to more of this transdisciplinary approach where not only is everyone at the table discussing what's going on with that patient, but each person takes the responsibility for implementing that plan and then reporting back to how that plan is, is going. So in the inpatient setting, here are the various members that uh, attend the multidisciplinary team meeting. As you can see, there are a lot of different uh, participants. One of the particular areas that we focus on are the symptom management needs of the patient. So not only is that plan of care, the medical plan of care being carried out, but how is the patient responding to that? Are there pain management needs that need to be taken care of? Is the patient having issues with nausea and vomiting? And that again is where a nurse can contribute to that conversation and what has been working and what maybe needs to, to be improved upon. So the logistics. Um, our meetings take place once a week. Um, we also do daily huddles. We, I don't know if you know that term huddles, but we get together in a very brief time, usually 15 minutes once per day, just to go over any issues that have that are right that are taking place with particular patients for that day. So on those daily huddles, not everyone is included as in the, the entire multidisciplinary team, um, but it's that ongoing conversation is critically important to make sure that we're making changes in that plan of care as needed right away. We want to make sure that these meetings are brief and they're concise. Um, everyone should contribute, but we need to do it in a, in a, a, a timely manner so that we're uh, being as efficient as possible. And then somebody should be responsible for documenting all of this because we want to make sure that what's being discussed is what's being carried through. And so documentation is really important. So what about outcomes? We do have, as, as was mentioned previously, uh, some outcomes that have really measured uh, the differences that the multidisciplinary team has made. So this is some, some data that was um, actually gathered from Johns Hopkins and looked at the interdisciplinary team um, and then also afterwards and what kinds of things uh, improved. And you, as you can see, many of the, particularly the, the symptoms of the patients, um, improved greatly after the implementation of this interdisciplinary team. 
What about for administrators? Because there are other aspects beyond uh, the, the symptoms that can be improved upon. What we found in the US is that after these team, interdisciplinary teams were implemented, we found an improvement in the length of stay for patients, um, an improvement in the mortality rate, Readmission rates are critically important. We don't want to send patients home just to have them come back to the hospital because they're having problems. And we found with this coordinated care effort, we really improved upon the readmission rates. Patients weren't coming back into the hospital. We also looked at um, some of the inpatient deaths, um, and you can see the other data there, but lots of improvements once these teams were implemented. So I just want to close, and before I turn it over to Danny, and really commend you for looking at the role of nurses within this multidisciplinary team, um, how they can contribute to the care of the patient, and I encourage you to keep up this collaborative effort.